I'm getting my makeup done today. Hey guys, it's your girl Tina here. I'm so excited because I'm getting a K-pop makeover at one of the most popular hair and makeup salons in Korea, Wee Wee Atelier. This salon has done makeup for so many famous K-pop groups like IVE, NMIX, ITZY, Kepler, Classy, and From Is 9, as well as K-pop artists like IU, Taeyeon, Yujin, Yuna, and Unbi, just to name drop a few. Today I've booked in with one of their top makeup artists, Sojong, who has been doing makeup for 10 years and has worked on many celebrities such as Jang Won Young and Eugene from IVE. When I arrived at the salon, I was greeted by Sojong's assistant, who quickly prepped my skin and started on my foundation. She used a lighter shade of foundation on me, as many K-pop artists prefer to look a little bit fairer. To apply the foundation, she used a wide flat brush to spread the product on the center of my face, then used a large, dense, dry sponge to pat and blend it out. She then switched to a smaller flat brush to apply the foundation onto my nose and eyelid area. Next up, she moved on to curling my lashes. She did a very, very thorough job with this. She went in first with a regular eyelash curler, and then she went back in for a second time with a mini curler, just in case she missed any spots. Now she's using a gel liner to line my top lash line right in the root of my lashes. By the way, this was the first time I've ever seen a makeup artist use her nail as a palette. Usually I see people use the back of their hand if they're not using a metal palette. But hey, whatever works for her. I guess it's easier to remove waterproof products from the nail as opposed to from the skin. Now she's using a cotton tip to remove any liner that touched my waterline. And then she continued on with my base applying a layer of concealer to the center of my face to build up the coverage. She blended the concealer all the way to my lash line and used a brush to cover any dark circles. Next, she moved on to contouring, blending a very light layer of contour powder across my cheekbones and a little bit on my jawline. Then she used a dark brown eyeshadow to shade in my hairline. That's the prep work done for my face. Now, because my face and neck are slightly different shades, the assistant applied a tone up cream on my neck and chest area to lighten up my skin so it matches my face and looks more uniform. I guess this is what K-pop artists do if they opt for a lighter foundation color. They apply tone up cream on any of the areas that are exposed on their body. Now I have a smooth canvas for Sojong to work on. She starts by applying a matte pinky coral eyeshadow as a soft wash over my lids and blending the same shade onto my lower lash line. Now she's blending a soft brown eyeshadow across my mobile lid to add some subtle depth and blending that color outwards to lengthen my eye. Now she's going in with a dark brown gel liner, applying that onto the root of my lashes, sticking really close to my lash line. She's going to wing out that liner following the direction of my natural lash line to create a puppy liner effect. Then using concealer to just clean up and sharpen that line. Do you guys notice that when it comes to K-pop makeup, there's not a lot of eyeshadow used like in Western style makeup where they blend a lot of different colors laid on top. For example, like a smoky eye. Korean makeup leans more natural, but there's a lot of emphasis on the eyeliner and lashes. So speaking of lashes, Sojong is applying individual pieces in between my natural lashes. It looks like it's a strip lash that she's cut into little pieces and she's just spacing them out as she sticks them on to create these little long peaks. This technique makes the lashes look more natural with no visible band. I could tell she was a pro at this because she worked so quickly, even though those little pieces are so delicate. Once the falsies are on, she moves on to my brows. 
Using an electric razor, Sojong shapes and shaves off some hairs on the top of my brows, just ever so slightly. She then trims off some of the hairs with scissors, creating a softer, slightly straighter eyebrow shape. Next, she fills in my brows with a brown eyebrow pencil, keeping a very light hand and only making minor adjustments to create a natural brow look. To clean up, she's using a concealer pencil just to clean up that edge, then applies a brown brow mascara to lighten my hairs so that it matched the brow pencil she used earlier. Now for mascara. Sojong applies black mascaras mainly to the tip of my lashes and the falsies. She then uses tweezers to pinch the lashes together, making each strand look more prominent and a little bit more spiky. This creates a perfectly fanned out lash with each hair separated. She then applies mascara to my lower lashes before using a heated wooden stick to remove any clumps and to also dry out the mascara so that it holds the curl in place for longer. If you watch my K-drama actress makeover, you would have seen that makeup artists use a similar technique. I feel like it's common practice across all Korean makeup artists. Okay, so lashes are done. They look absolutely perfect. Each hair is just spaced out so evenly. It looks like I've got dull eyelashes. Now Sojong's adding more eyeshadow to my lower lash line. She's using a dusty pink color and adding a touch of soft brown on the outer corner that connects to the top liner. This helps to make my eyes look more elongated. Now she's using a matte brown shadow to mark out my egg yolk cell, aka she's defining my under eye baby fat. This technique makes my eyes look bigger and more doll-like. Then she adds a highlight shade on top of my eye bag so that it pops and creates a little bit more contrast. When I think about it, it's quite funny how most of us want to hide our eye bags, but in this case, in Korea, they want to highlight and define it even more. But hey, when it's done well, it actually looks really good. Sojong blends everything together before adding specks of glitter to amp up my eye makeup and give her that K-pop bling bling. She's placing larger specks of glitter on my lower lash line, right where that eye bag is. And then for my top eyelid, she's spacing out little speckles of glitter. Okay, so I was wrong before. I thought she was done with lashes, but now she's going back to them, applying mascara to lengthen and clump together my lower lashes. So again, she's creating these little spikes that make my eyes look even more doll-like. I think she probably spent the most time on my lashes, to be honest. And hey, they look incredible, right? Now she's using a little bit of concealer to clean up any areas and just adding a touch more coverage here and there. For blush, she applies a rosy pink powder to my cheeks, but she keeps it in the center just below my eyes. This gives it a more cute doll-like vibe. After that, she adds a little bit more contour just around the perimeters of my face, and then she moves on to contouring the sides and tip of my nose. Now we can move on to lips. She's blotting back any moisture on my lips with a tissue and then applies a little bit of concealer around the edges to knock out my natural lip color. She applies a soft pinky nude shade and also lines my lips to bring back that shape. And that's the base she's gonna work with. Next, Sojong mixes up her own lip concoction. Check out her extensive lip collection right here. Every girl's dream. She ends up mixing a couple of different colors together and basically contours my lips with all these shades. This is adding a little bit more dimension and makes my lips look more pouty. She finishes the makeup with eyeshadow, but this time on my hairline to make it look fuller. 
This is a great technique if you're like me, lacking a little bit of hair <laughs> and have a little bit of bald spots here and there. Now that's my makeup done, but the makeover is not complete just yet. I'm gonna move over to a special VIP lounge to get my hair done. Ooh la la, fancy. So I'm done with my makeup now. I'm going to get my hair styled just to complete the look. But yeah, Alfred says I look very Korean at the moment. <laughs> This is Harin, she's my hairstylist today. She's going to be jazzing up this hair. And let me tell you, she has her work cut out for her because look, look at all my crazy baby hairs. First, she smooths out my hair with the blow dryer. and then adds in loose waves using a curling tong. This is just the prep work for the final hairstyle she's going to create. She's chosen a fun up style that a lot of K-pop artists wear, especially when they're going out for performances. Harin parts my hair into two sections with a zigzag part down the back. With the sections, she's going to tie them up to create two pigtails. Then she's going to work her magic and transform these into bows. OMG, how freaking cute does that look? Let me just tell you, a lot of pins and hairspray was needed to tame my baby hairs and flyaways and to secure these bows in place. And boy, did she do a good job securing them because wow, <laughs> it was tight and very, very taut on my head. You can see I was watching so carefully to see how she perfected this style. And all I was thinking was, oh my God, can I ever recreate this on myself? I really want to, but I don't think my skill level's there. Plus, I probably need an assistant to help like her. Now my makeover is complete and I'm ready for my solo debut. Cue posing montage. <laughs> I may not have the K-pop voice or the dance moves, but I've got the look now. What do you guys think of this makeover? Clearly, I am feeling myself. I feel like a real life doll. The makeup is so sweet and cute, whilst the hair gives it an edgy vibe. Okay guys, I'm ready to shoot my next MV. Kidding. And that's it to this video guys, I hope you have enjoyed it. Do check out my other amazing videos and remember to subscribe to my channel. That is it from me, I shall speak to you guys next time. Bye!